help us manage our expectations in terms of what this show is going to deliver and what we can expect moving forward. You can expect that whatever you think is going to happen is probably not going to happen. What's up, everybody? It's me, E-Man, from E-Man's Movie Reviews. Kari Skoglin is a solid director, and you may know her work from the Hulu smash hit, The Handmaid's Tale. For her latest project, she directed the current Disney Plus series, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I recently got a chance to speak with her about the show. Check it out. Hello. Hello, Kari. How are you? Very nice to meet you. Look at your fantastic background. Well, I come to please. <laughs> Uh, there, first, there, I've got Sebastian staring at me. So, I guess- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, I got a chance to watch the first episode. Really, really excellent work. Um, oh, I gotta say, I loved how you were able to balance the action and the drama, you know, in this piece. Um, can you just talk about real quick, like just bringing those elements together and keeping that healthy balance? Uh, well, you know, it's. Drama is actually not that different from, from action in the sense that you're still telling a story. You're still telling a very um, character-driven you know, moment. And I always try within my action sequences to make sure that we're telling a story so that it's not just you know, a, fight, a, a fight sequence. It's actually got a beginning, middle, and end, and it's got some character dynamics in it um, so that we feel like we have gone on a little journey. So that's very similar to drama. Now, obviously, the performance potential is, is very different, and the nature of, of the performance is affected accordingly. But um, I think I come at it from the same sort of sensibility. How engaged are we? How nuanced? So in the case of our wonderful opening sequence with, um, with Anthony flying through the, the craziness of it all, uh, and then we go to Bucky, who's, you know, he's with a psychiatrist and in a way it's an action sequence of in and of itself as he's deflecting the truth and and her her what she's telling him he needs to do and and we can see that he's very conflicted about it so in a way they're both very emotionally charged for sure for sure now um when it comes to the characters, right? So Sam's character in the MCU, he was primarily known as a good man. Um, however, now in this series, it appears as though he's going to be a good black man with the issue of race taking on the forefront. Can you talk about why this is an important theme or story to tell? Well, I think we all know, uh, you know, we're slightly informed by what's been going on in the last few years, but um from day one, we are talking about a, a, a story of an American who uh, has a history um, in America that we need to pay attention to. We need to tell that story. And the story of him taking on the, the mantle of Captain America and what that means for a black man is particularly not just relevant right now, but invokes a lot of conversation that we should be having. It's a dialogue, it's, a, it's not meant to um, answer, it's not meant to uh, have the answers, it's meant to provoke conversation and, and to uh, understand the nature of tolerance and what that looks like and to open the doors that have been until now closed to diversity. So um, I hope that that's the, the thematically, uh, we've touched on a lot of topics um, around that, including another, you know, one of our themes is nationalism. Um, our big, one of our big themes, which um, is very much a part of the same conversation of the shield and what it is for a black man to take up the red, white, and blue of it, um, is what it is to be a hero. So as you said, to be a good black man um, and to be a good hero, what is that? Because they aren't mutually exclusive. Uh, and what, what's what's interesting to me about um, that that topic is originally, you know, back at when when the comics were started, the idea of a hero was very much a a warrior or a um, you know some someone a soldier. And really, as of as of nine uh, eleven, 
that changed to be a first responder. And that became much more in, in Falcon's wheelhouse. And so what, what, what is that when he's now taking on the shield and will he take on the shield as a result of how a hero has evolved, the, the nature of a hero and has evolved? So coming off of WandaVision, because um, I know originally you guys were supposed to come out first, but pandemic. Coming off of WandaVision, um, we got a really deep dive into the character of Wanda, and we also got to explore magic in the MCU. Um, and thankfully, in this series, it does appear that we're going to take a similar deep dive into both Bucky and into Sam. Um, but can you talk about what this will also explore for the MCU? Well, this is a very grounded, um, you know, the idea was we come out of Endgame and, and this is a very different look at our world. And it's a very grounded, uh, you know, in, in a way it's a uh, character study, not only of our characters, but of their relationship and their relationship to the previous MCU. So meaning really their relationship with Steve, which is their common ground. These are uh, characters who don't really get along. I mean, they, they don't really, you know, they, their commonality is that they uh, have had similar experiences, they've fought similar battles, um, and they have a friend, a common friend who they both loved for, for different reasons. So um, uh, we get to go on a ride with these characters in this universe, which looks a lot like our own. And um, that makes the topics and the themes that we're, we're embracing just that much more um, uh, poignant because it's really reflecting uh, the world as, as we see it now, or the world that we're in now. For sure, for sure. Um, so one thing before I leave you here, uh, again, with WandaVision, fans were going nuts with theories right. and expectations and everything was going everywhere. Can you get ahead of that? <laughs> And maybe help us, because uh, I'm one of these fans too, help us manage our expectations in terms of what this show is going to deliver and what we can expect moving forward. Well, you can expect some really great twists and turns. You can expect that whatever you think is going to happen is probably not going to happen. And uh, I hope that at the end of each episode, Whatever you, wherever you thought it was going, we've taken you on a hard turn left. On your left, I love that. I, 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 I love, I love what you or did there. Right. Now wait a second. Love... You're on the right. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> Kari, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. All right. If you enjoyed this interview, check out my other interview with Anthony Mackie and the writer-producer Malcolm Spellman as we talk about the Falcon and Winter Soldier series. I'll post a link to all my other celebrity interviews for you to watch as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate it. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all, and until next time, I'll see you all later.